In January 22, when the government of UAE announced the introduction of corporate taxes, it marked almost a seismic change in the way this part of the world has approached taxes. We are moving in from a tax-free regime to a tax-paying regime. And this is just a culmination of the OECD BEPS project where there was an inclusive framework and UAE rightly decided to be a part of it. Because if the whole world of taxes is changing globally, it was only appropriate that UAE became a part of that global change. Quite interestingly, what we have today is the FAQs, the government coming out to say, this is what we propose to do, this is what the overall framework looks like. We are still awaiting the detailed law, which is likely to be announced in mid-22, around May or June. But what we do have with us provides quite a bit of framework of what is likely to happen. The government intends to keep the law very simple. There are provisions, for example, for consolidated return for group, provision for ensuring set-off of losses and profits between various entities within a group. There are issues with regard to operating between free zone and onshore entities, etc. And while a lot of the detailing is still awaited, what we do know is that for accounting years, which commence after 1st June 23, corporate taxes will be applicable, profits will be taxed at the rate of 9%, generally and for those entities which are covered by pillar 2 of the OECD guidelines the rate of tax will be announced later on most likely to be around 15 percent and while the tax laws will be simple and one goes by the government's assertion on this it is very clear that the moment you have corporate taxes you will also have issues with regard to transfer pricing, arm's length relationship between related enterprises, limits on managerial remuneration, thin capitalization rules, and the like. And we have a time frame of around 18 to 20 months to plan for the taxes. We need to plan for two things. We need to plan to ensure that we have a complete compliance with the regulations as they come out. And more important, we need to ensure that we restructure ourselves so that the taxes that we pay are optimal. That restructuring will require us to relook at managerial remuneration, will require us to relook at the way in which we hold assets, including IP. It will require us to relook at the relationships, as I said earlier, between onshore and offshore activities within the group and the like. Each one of these are significant activities. Each one of these are items where one needs to apply oneself and come back and say that what we did during the laser fair period cannot continue when we go ahead with a tax paying regime. The government has rightly given this 18 plus month window to reorganize ourselves. We at WTS Thruva have significant experience in this entire aspect. Our partners with decades of experience working on international tax, work with some of the largest corporates listed or otherwise in this part of the world. And we're very happy to work with you to provide you with that right quality advice, which is led by a partner so that you are able to restructure and plan your affairs in anticipation of the rollout of the tax regime. Please feel free to reach out to me or to any of my colleagues and be happy to interact with you and tell you what do you need to do as UAE introduces corporate tax. Thank you.